Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. We got Zeke and Sassy Forefront. They yes. are they're watching the screen intently. Super intently. They just can hardly wait to find out what we're going to say. Yes. And, you know, we're going to tread lightly on a lot of these subjects because a lot of these are touchy. As you guys know, this is a touchy world right now. Very touchy. Absolutely. You know, we, we did a, vi a video earlier. We had a packed day um, helping people, working with people, but we did do a video earlier, but the guys were saying, uh, don't publish it. So <laughs> we got it on hold and we'll see what happens with it. Um, as you know, we are on the cusp of some absolute major changes in this world. Not that there's not major changes been going on for the last two years, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or should we say the last 21 years? Right. Well, they have a way of moving things forward in such a way people don't notice immediately, but they do recognize that there's definite change. Absolutely. So we see this out of Zero Hedge. The Biden administration rejects Israel's urging for a joint plan to attack Iran's and UKE facilities. So this is a hot zone. And we have so many hot zones. And, um, you know, we were speaking to one of the family members today, and he was like, wow, you know, well, actually, we we're speaking to somebody who has another YouTube channel today. Um, and he was saying, you know, I didn't even think about um, this theater because they've been all focused on what's happening in the Ukraine or what's happening with Taiwan. This maybe where things start out first in so many ways. Right. You know, this is a place we definitely want to keep an eye on and send our good energies this way so that I just don't think people need to be as impacted as they're trying to do, sort of. Mm -hmm. uh, let's take a moment just to send out some positive vibes to the, to the people in this world that are feeling pressure, feeling stress, going through personal issues. Many, many, many people have health issues at this time. Many people are feeling uh, deeply stressed about their economic situation, you know, the possibility of losing their jobs. And you guys could think of one reason why, uh, as well as the looming feeling that we might be heading towards another global conflict. All these things are signs that we're at the end of the age. Now, this still may take many more years to totally flush away the system and say bye-bye forever, yet we, we are at a critical point. We, we could see this. We've talked many times about, you know, according to some thinking, we might be more than halfway through the quote-unquote tribulation period. We might be, you know, and that means that things are going to be looking the way they do. With all indicators, everything that's indicating how things are changing, I think this is the tribulation period, personally, too. But then again, as as was interesting with another discussion today, many people will take that to mean that the Bible is infallible, but it's not. You know, it wouldn't it wouldn't have three thousand revisions in the oldest Gospel of John. There wouldn't be a whole class of scribes that basically all throughout you know the the ancient times were constantly editing and it you know many, many people don't know that vowels weren't put into the old testament writings everything had done in hebrew there were no vowels inserted so it was up to that uh scribe to basically interpret and, and keep going on interesting have you ever played telephone you know, where, you know, you say a line and then the next kid in class, by the time you get to the 21st kid, you know, Billy has a, a pet goat, turns into Sally drives a Harley. I know, something completely different. Exactly. But let's just send out our intentions and our prayers for peace upon earth and awakening because we have to have an apocalypse. What? Yes, we have to because it means the unveiling. We have to unveil the system for what it is and, you know, show the wolves that have been taking advantage of the sheep because they've been wearing sheep's clothing for what they are. Exactly. And things don't necessarily need to be the way they put it in the books. You know, an apocalypse, an apocalypse can just mean change. So Cindy's going to give us a ding and... This is from her tuning forks, and just in case you don't know, 
first time to the channel. Uh, we're, we're both healers. We're both energy workers. And Cindy is a master at sound therapy. Mm -hmm. let's, let's go. I want you guys to think of yourself in a very positive manner. Put out good vibrations now because this is what's going to resonate through the wave, airwaves. All right, and then on to the rest of the headlines here. <clears throat> okay, so we have this in. So the Supreme Court won't halt New York's dates for men, as we always have to split that word up and put the other word in front. But you could you know, read, for those, again, that are new to the channel, there's certain things, certain code words that you have to, you know, basically switch things up to. So they won't halt it which means in effect it it is in effect right um and so you know that's interesting and many more people hopefully will be watching exactly what's going on and paying attention and as we had shared um there is a a vote a big important vote that the senate is going to be doing and you know it could really lay the groundwork uh gosh you know you know for just craziness uh on a, on a supreme level because you know no matter how much there is this intent to make one size fit all as we think about nature right no two fingerprints are alike no two snowflakes are alike no two people are alike and yet, we have certain forces that are saying everybody must be something, right. you know? And it's not just this newest issue upon the land. It, there's been other issues at other times. We, we talked about the founding of what was to become the Catholic Church. And at first, many people viewed the teachings of Yeshua who really wasn't known to the masses in mass as Jesus until about 1535, they, there was great disagreement as to what his teachings were. And the first council in Nicaea, they debated whether he was God, man, God, man, just a teacher, another prophet. All these things were up for debate. After they had their official version if you believed anything other than the official version, you might be boiled in oil. You might be drawn and quartered. You might be burned at, at the stake as a heretic. So, you know, <laughs> heretic today is, is yesterday's totally, totally, you know, fine opinion. Right. This, and this is how things change. It is. And they made sure to make examples out of people because they needed that fear to spread. They needed the fear of this belief system embedded so deeply in people because that's their control. Absolutely. So there's a video here, as you can see, this headline, Horror in France, as the particular mandate there creates a RIOT. And you see protesters being um, not handled gently by la po policia. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure how you would say it in French, honestly. But we're seeing a lot of the world absolutely refusing to simply become another, well, another barcode. Right. They're standing back and they're saying no. They're standing their ground, which is absolutely beautiful. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to do these things not in, in such a choreographed manner like the controllers want us to do we're supposed to be who we are stand our own ground and and believe believe in our hearts what's the right thing to do have you ever asked yourself you know why most people affiliate themselves you know politically either as democrat or republican you know when you put those two together it vastly outnumbers the independence that's just basically again buying into a side 
it's the same thing, you know, with the religious point of view. And it's sad, but more and more people are waking up to it. As you see, nightclubs in France are shut down. So, hey, everybody's partying in the streets. Now, that's the right way to, to look at things. Yes. Let's get along. Let's have fun. Let's enjoy life. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Everybody making their own decisions in a unique way. As each one of us is a unique expression of source. And we see a massive, you know what, in Germany as well. In fact, it is everywhere. And of course, you know, there are powers that don't want people to understand just how many people are saying, I'm going to choose to be my own unique expression. I'm going to actually make my own decisions. And many people are making decisions that are very, very difficult. And even to the point where, you know, they're facing things that would make us very fearful, such as not having guaranteed income. Mm -hmm. Maybe not even being able to go to a store, you know, in three weeks time, four weeks time in some places. These are serious, serious challenges that are in front of the entire globe. So what is going to be your answer? Right. How, you know, how are you going to react? How are you going yep. to, you know, show your support for liberty? Yes, we all need to work together. It's time for us to come together because those beings, they have learned how to work together to get something. And now it's our turn. We have to learn to work together and do what it takes to have ourselves heard and understood. You know, we have Kiev. And so we're seeing it. it's all over. It's all around the world. Mm -hmm. The entire world is waking up. The entire world will wake up. Wake up to the point that the system that's in place will no longer be in place. Ooh, we could go to that biblical phrase again, you know, quote the book of Revelation, Woe to you, O earth and sea, for the devil comes with great wrath, knowing his time is very short. Yep. Well, again, the devil is, is you know, Satan, which is the adversary. And what's the adversary of humanity? It's, it's the actual system that we find ourselves in. Look at Barcelona. As we're just looking all around the globe. And people are saying we will not go quietly into the night. No, no, we won't. We're not going to stand for that. That's not what we came here to do. No, even in South America, Peru, or maybe someday we will be walking those streets. Mm-hmm. Beautiful country, very, very interesting, uh, the legends, inner earth legends, ET legends. Uh, yeah, Peru is a, a unique, interesting place. Of course, we got the Nazca lines, yeah. you know, and so they knew there was people watching from above, way, way back, California to reimpose, you know what, those coverings. Mm -hmm. So many dates for men out there. And this was interesting. There's a company in China that basically, uh, it's a milk, an infant formula company. So they're expecting sales to drop sharply in the coming one to two years. And this is why, if, if you know, I don't feel like I could really say no, that. No, can't say that. So we're highlighting it for you guys. So we're highlighting it. Yeah, you know, there's going to be a lot less kids coming. Mm -hmm, for some strange reason. So, yeah, that, that company is preparing for that. Right. Trust us. Trust us. We know better. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's what we get from the ones that think, you know, we don't know anything. The ones that think we're too, maybe not intelligent enough to actually question them. Well, you know, when you look at this, we find out, and this is from Business Insider, hmm, dozens of federal lawmakers, at least 182 top staffers, have violated a conflict of interest law. Really? Really? Are, are we going to see anything really, really happen there? It seems to me if that's the case, they should no longer be able to you know, do the positions that they find themselves in now, wouldn't you think? 
Numerous members of Congress personally invest in industries they oversee. Talk about the ability to have insider information. We, we talked about NP being amazing when it comes to her stock picks. Right. But then she's been there forever. She's a fixture. Yep. You know, it's, it's, just, it's just crazy, though. But, yeah, this is just absolutely wrong, is it not? 48 members of Congress, 182 senior-level congressional staffers violated a federal conflicts of interest law. 75, nearly 75 federal lawmakers who held stocks in certain, you know what, right? Don't you think they have an idea of the way things are going to go? Can't they kind of have an inside track? I mean, it's, it's, it's like, you know... It's like being able to look at the cards at the casino, mm -hmm. maybe even being able to, you know, have your hand on the deck. Mm -hmm. Maybe you know that this one's got a little bit of a certain roughness to it, you know, or a certain sheen to it. Who knows? Fifteen lawmakers tasked with shaping U.S. defense policy that actively invest in military contractors. Can, can we say... What's that word starts with a B? B-I-A-S, right? Couldn't there be a little of that going on here? And it just goes on. I mean, it's it goes on. But if we really look, and, and people need to look, 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 look. There's a smiling face. The 23rd Commissioner of Food and Drugs. And where is he? A member of the Board of Directors? Oh, yeah, that place. Yeah, that PF place. No kidding. Hmm. No kidding. Wow, ain't that a coincidence? Ain't yeah, that a, there's a been coincidence. so many coincidences, but you know, don't question science. No, never, please. Do you know it was, it was exactly 13 years ago today that former VP Al Gore predicted this year. By this time, we'll be underwater with no polar ice caps. That was his science. Is it the case? Hardcore science. Yep. That's hardcore science. Hardcore science. By the way, he made a killing. Mm -hmm. He made a killing. He still is. Still is making a killing. This shows us what the science is all about, right? It's pretty i mean made books on it da 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 you know get your swimsuit and better make it a wetsuit because it's mm -hmm. gonna be you know the, all the ice and the caps is gonna be just rolling down new york will be under da 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 hasn't happened we're still waiting we're waiting yep and this is just disconcerting so i just wanted to put it out there um 35 hospitalized with severe bleeding after Utilizing this product here, which is called Spice, and this is down in Florida, Hillsborough County. Um, the symptoms are not good. In fact, um, symptoms are very concerning. Bruising, nosebleeds, bleeding gums, vomiting, B-L-O-O-D, as well as having it in their urine and stool, and heavy menstrual bleeding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is that's... Uh indicator of a huge hormone change so something went really wrong here yeah very strange and many people had have, have had a vision of something like this on a much bigger scale happening um perhaps even globally um the guides say this is not it this is not it but they, this is what we want to look for but they said that when it, when that hits you will know it's it Right. And that's the time when you really want to be just hunkered down, staying home, yeah, being totally self-sufficient, and uh, of really avoiding every you know interaction as much as possible. Yeah. yeah, like seriously, you know, putting the gloves on when a package comes, that type of mm -hmm. stuff. Um, because you know that many people have had that vision of something like that coming. Mm -hmm. So it is always good to be cautious and prepared. Uh, but you got to enjoy your life at the same time because life is about enjoyment. We, we don't really recognize it, unfortunately, in this system enough because it's all about 
enticing us to, you know, get in debt and just keep on that treadmill, just trying to pay the taxes, pay the bills, keep the lights on, pay the rent, get the mortgage, whatever it is, that we don't really have time to go within, have real constructive meditative practices, yoga, qigong, spending time in nature, just enjoying time with family and friends, you know, exploring what being alive is really all about instead of just, you know, basically that old song, working for a living. And yep. then you get two days, if you're lucky, uh, to go off and, well, maybe one of those days you got, you know, cut the lawn and, you know, do all sorts of chores. And maybe you get one day out of the entire week to enjoy yourself. Well, that's when you get to recoup. Exactly. It's not the way it's supposed to be. And when we look to, you know, ancient history and we see these structures that were built to last, you know, ancient times where they definitely had technology that may be way ahead of what we have now, they still chose to live in a simple way and chose to live with nature in the golden ages, in these periods where people were in harmony. Because, again, the technology that we have, it can enslave us, as well as, you know, we might look at it like it's liberating us. Hey, we could clap and turn the lights on, or we have remotes, and we have all these different things we're going to have. You, know, you might be just saying, hey, uh, Alexa, turn on the lights, you know, and, and she might be turning them on. And she might be doing other things as well. Right. You know she's doing other things and recording it, too. She might be reporting to a certain uh, PCC mm -hmm. chairman exactly what you're doing. Yep. Just saying. All in the under the guise of liberation. Yes, but we must keep striving for liberté, for, yes, for true for liber real. liberation from the system. True liberté. And we do want to thank all you guys that have been supporting us on Patreon because we couldn't do it without your support as well. And do check out Evolutionary Energy Arts, our website. And at some point we'll be updating that with some more um, lovely reviews by people mm -hmm. that we've worked with. We just haven't had a chance to update everything, but uh, it was updated about six months ago, I want to say. But also medicinal foods, great people. Use coupon code EEA and get an extra 5% off your order. It supports the channel and also supports great people over there with really good products that feel feel good. Yes, they do. Very much so. As always, guys, thanks for being part of the family. Make sure you're still subscribed. God bless and namaste. Namaste.